Every film, whether a big blockbuster movie or a small indie film, will have some form of visual effects in it. Whether big explosions or buildings lit on fire, or something as small as an arm extension, visual effects are really important in the film. So, what are visual effects? Visual effects in exact terms is a process which imagery is created, manipulated, or changed in any way outside of live action. What? Okay, let's simplify this. Visual effects is any changes made to the shot after it has been filmed, such as fire being added or equipment being removed. So this is our software, which this is HitFilm Express. It is a free visual effects and editing software. So check it out. They also do have many other software, so check it out. Masking is when you crop footage to make it fit better in the scene. This is like cutting pieces of paper in crafting. So we are in our editor now. I'm gonna trim the shot. So this is how much of the shot that we want. So you will click the shot and click make composite shot and name it masking. We will go over and import our picture that we want to put in the shot. So we will put it above the shot so we can see it. So this is our shot that we want. So there is some extra for the wall behind the picture we do want to take that out so for this shot we will use the rectangular mask so we will mask our shot we will move our shot to where we want it then we will go to mask we'll click on shape then we will leave feather at both and then feather strength we'll turn it up a bit tracking is where you track the movement of the shot this is sort of like sticking these two papers together with glue no matter where i move the orange paper the white paper will always get stuck to it now you can see a problem in the shot that the whole shot moves but the picture stays in the same spot so we can fix this by tracking a shot we will go over to our shot and then click tracks now we will move the tracker onto something in the shot an actor in the shot is not a good idea because people naturally will move and that will mess up your shot unless you're adding something to the actor, which we're not. We're adding something to the background. We can track this lamp. The red and green boxes are where the tracker will search for the point. So this is where the point is exactly supposed to be at. We are going to make our green box wider and our red box more square. Now we will go to the beginning of the shot and then hit the tracking button. And now we will create a new point layer. This is used to store our tracking data. We're gonna rename our new point layer to picture track. Now we will pair up our image to the point layer. A point layer is also called a null in After Effects. You see it doesn't move with the shot. So if for some reason it doesn't move to the shot, put it a layer and make sure the anchor point is at zero. So now you have Keying is the process of removing the background. This can be really useful in low-budget productions, like if you're taking a film that took place in the Great Pyramids of Egypt. Actually, going to Egypt would be really expensive, so instead, you can shoot your actor on a green screen and put an image of ancient Egypt as a background to make it look like he was actually there. If we add in the green screen key to our shot, you can tell that there's a problem. It is that only the green screen is being keyed and these boxes which happen to be green, but we want the whole shot to be removed except for the actor. So we will delete the green screen effect. So we will zoom into the shot because part of myself is covered by the light. So and then we will select the freehand masking tool and we will mask around the actor. So now we will apply the green screen effect. You can see it is pretty perfect when we add it on, but we don't want to make it even better. We will leave screen color to green unless you're using a blue screen, then you will switch it to blue. We will click view matte. And you can see there's some gray. We do not want any gray in the shot. So we will adjust the min and max so that there is no gray in the shot. Black is the part that's being keyed out and white is the part that's not. Gray is the part that's partially being keyed out. So now we are done with the keying. So now we are gonna add in the background. So here's a picture from ancient Egypt. So we will make it so that it covers the whole frame. You can see that this looks pretty good, but it really doesn't look like I'm in the shot. So we're gonna add on the color temperature effect and make it more warm so that it matches the shot. Throw on some music and you have... Mm -hmm. 
Adding elements is a useful technique used in many films. This is useful in many ways, such as if you're having a torch in your set. Having an actual torch on set would be very dangerous for the crew and the cast. Instead, you can just have a stick and add in fire in post. So I have imported my shot into our compositor. So we don't want to have fire coming out of my hand. So the first thing we're going to do is bring in the fire. You can see that there's a black background blocking your shot underneath. So in order to fix that, we'll put it in an add blend mode. A blend mode is how the shot blends in with the scene. An add or screen blend mode will remove the black background. And so next we will track our shot. So now that our shot is tracked, we will pair up our fire to our point layer. So you can see that it doesn't quite match up. We will position our shot so that it matches up with my hand. So now we will go to where my hand enters the shot and then delete the fire up until there. So next we will add motion blur to the fire. Now you can see that the fire stays the same size. So in order to make the fire get bigger, we will go to where the shot starts and keyframe the position and the scale. And then we will reduce the size of the fire. And then we will change the position so that it is where my hand is. So next we will go to where my hand is the highest and we will increase the and we will increase the size to 100%. And then we will also move the fire up so that it is directly on top of my hand. Next we will add in the smoke. So we will select both the smoke layers and put them in a screen blend mode. And then we will pair them up with our point layer. We will move them so that they start when the fire starts. We will position them so that they're where the fire is and turn on motion blur. You can see the edges from the smoke clip. So in order to fix that, we will mask our smoke clip. Then we will feather the mask. We will do the same for the other clip. We will create a new plane and then change the color to about orangey yellow. So we will increase the opacity to about 20%. So then we will make a mask and feather it. We will go to where the fire is the biggest, go to transform and keyframe the scale and make it bigger. We will also pair it up with our new point and trim it so that it starts where the fire does. Now we will go to position and make it zero. Now we have 